Hello everybody, welcome back to some more City Skylines. This is episode 2 and we are sitting in Sea Town. Okay, I forgot what I named it already. Sea Town, right down there you can see that. And town is looking lovely. Seems to be some sort of sunrise. Well, I don't know if it's perpetual sunrise. I actually don't remember if this game has a day-night cycle. Oh, sweet! Congratulations! We reached a population of 460. Unlock taxes, garbage, healthcare, loans, education, elementary school, medical clinic, and landfill site. wonder what the next one is. Okay, Worthy Village is a population of 900. And I think at that point we get to unlock a new square. Which is freaking awesome. I think we might try and pop in another road in the middle here. Just because this is kind of some wasted space. Like if we do that, actually hold up. Hold up, hold up. Let's see, we'll demolish that stuff automatically. If I decree it to be. Hmm. Yeah, because that's going to be kind of wasted space. Let's take a look at that zoning. And I guess I should have thought of that when building, huh? That's okay. That's something we can always renovate later. Oh, God, that's going to bug me, though. Hmm. Just go away, more options. Let's see, it'd be kind of hard to fit this in there perfectly. Just there to, like, there. Oh, we made them all sad. I'm sorry, guys. Does that look okay? It looks... Alright. No, let's demolish that. Demolish all that. Get back to roads. Okay. Nope. Okay, maybe if we go further out and then have it turn. Cycle. Oh, there we go. It looks a little better. And we can do the same thing here. Okay, now we need to rezone all that good stuff. That'll give us a little more density. Even though we don't really need it. I mean, we got so much freaking space. It's crazy. Okay, rezone all that. Is there a way to, like, click and drag? Zoning? I hope so. Maybe I don't know. I don't think there is. We'll find. We'll figure that out later. Why isn't this stuff all zoned out? Um. Yeah, that looks all right. As long as we don't look at it from like a straight-on angle like this, I'll be fine. Just because that does look a little wonky, a little wonkier than we'd like. Okay, water. We're doing fine. Power. We're doing fine. Super fantastic. Alright. Uh, let's see, what did it say we unlocked? We did unlock our first medical clinic, so we should probably put that somewhere. Uh, let's, let's extend this main road, shall we? Uh, these main two roads. Oops, did not need me to do a curved road there. There to there. There to there. Then we can also do a cross road. Actually, I want to... Oh, dang it. Did not mean to do that. Delete that. Okay, now let's build that first medical clinic. We can just build that, maybe right along here, right along this main road. Woo, healthcare for everyone! Is it free healthcare? Jeez, we are low on money. Jeez, okay, we might need to take, I don't think we can take loans yet, can we? Okay, we can. Uh, let's see, Sunset Bank will give us 20,000. Payment plan 52 weeks of 5% interest. Weekly cost of 403. We're only getting a weekly income right now of 357, so that won't be great. I don't think we should take that loan quite yet. We're still in the positive, though, so we have people moving in, uh, people working, getting new jobs. And they seem to be happy overall, despite the fact that I kept destroying their homes unintentionally. Let's see, is this demand? Okay, we have medium residential demand, medium commercial demand, and we have virtually no industrial demand. Hmm. Oh, let's see, we could zone this area over here for some new neighborhoods. Because it looks like our... It says we have demand for residential, but there doesn't seem to be that many two people moving in. So we're going to speed up the two times speed. And hope everything works out. <laughs> Let me just take a sip of water real quick. 
Mm. Yeah. I'm just glad I'm feeling better today because this past week I've had a bit of a fever, so I've been a little sick and I had no real interest in recording when I'm sick. And unfortunately, that's when I got this game when I was sent the keys. So I was like, oh dang it, I'm sick. But luckily, I slept at night last night just perfectly well, had a great night's sleep. Felt okay, so I'm trying to get some of this busted out before I have to go to work. And is that an ice cream truck? Oh my god, it's even better. It's a donut truck. Come here. Look at it go. It's a donut truck. Oh, it just went into uh, Goods Unlimited. They must make donuts. There's another one. I love donut trucks. It's beautiful. Donut van. Yeah, so it. Oh, that's cool. It'll actually take things from Goods Unlimited to this convenience store. That is really cool. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah, and I realize you can rename houses and stores and stuff. So if you guys want me to name any buildings after you, just let me know. Just let me know if you want your. Is it a residential? What can I rename residential buildings? Uh, well, let's check that out. Yeah, I can. So all you give you guys houses if you want. You can just let me know if you want like a house, a store, or industrial building, and I'll name it after you. I'm gonna name me right now. Actually, let's uh, let's see. Where's a good spot? Where's a cool looking house I like? I like this one right here. It seems to be in the middle of the neighborhood. The oh my god, I gave him a keyboard there. C top manor. There we go. No, what the hell? There we go. Fantastic. Okay, we can unpause now. Get back to work. Quit name things, looking after things. So it looks like we do need uh, garbage removal services, which we just now unlocked. So, landfill site. Where would be a good place for that? It has to be built along the road. But it will cause. Uh, collect the garbage your population. It does have a pollution of 100, but the noise pollution is zero. So, where would be a good place for that? I'm thinking just this upper corner would be good. So, let's see. If we could build a road going out from there. So, like there to like there. There. And then this guy. There we go, so we got a landfill up there, even though this won't be the corner forever, because we will eventually expand our map. Probably in that direction. No, I'd, we'll probably go down this way. Maybe get across this bay, just have this lake just in the middle of our town. I think that'd be cool. Oh, but there's these cool beaches. I kind of want to expand that way. Oh, man, I don't. I just don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's see, once we get the 900 population, we'll be able to actually expand our city and buy one of those new squares. Should be really cool. Check out all those dump trucks. Look at them go. See, are those like, I think those are like newsstands, newspaper stands. I was watching Weasel play and he, he didn't know what they were either. I was like, oh, silly guy, doesn't know what they are. But then I realized I'm not sure what they are either. I think they're newspaper stands or like electrical boxes you see along the sides of roads. Hmm. Anyway, back to business. All right, let's check on traffic. So if we click on roads... Oh, cool. oh, we do have roundabouts unlocked. That's a small roundabout. Thing's huge. Thing's huge. What are we talking about? Oh, no. I did not mean to do that. Oh. How much did that just cost me? 2000 Great. Great. I accidentally... Damn it. At least we got a little bit of a refund from that. Oh, whatever. Just left those trees there. Uh, da, 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 da. How do we exactly check on traffic? Oh, what's wrong with this guy? Not enough workers. Strange. Because there's not, not much demand for residential, but I guess we can zone some more. Don't want to do it too close to the dumps, <laughs> to the landfill. But I guess we can add another little branch down here. If I have the money for roads. Alright, curved roads. Let's see, will that destroy that guy? Uh, no, that's a... I want to make it closer just so it's a little bit more efficient in terms of spaces in between, but... I don't want to do too much, because... Oh, if I did, I would knock out that guy and then get destroyed. Well, I guess it would maybe just be, get moved over a little bit, but that's okay. Then we can zone all this for some more residential. 
There we are. What's the chirpy bird saying? Silver is the new black, now orange is the new black, slash hashtag orange is the new black. I, what? Are they talking about that TV show? Is this universe real? Chirpy? Tell me what you know, Chirpy. New services. Oh, do, do, do. Okay. Elementary school. We don't have the cash for it, though. Even though we have 200 people eligible for it. Let's see. It costs 10000 We only have 9000 right now. Uh, it'd probably be worth it to take that loan. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to take that first loan. So now we have plenty of cash money. And we'll build that school. Where should we put it? Oh, we got a worthy village. Okay. Dang, so that takes a l that gives us a lot. Fire department, police department, unique buildings, power uses, water usage. Okay, oh, it can make uh, policies. Okay. Cool. So now we'll be able to buy a new square. Okay, for hold on. I need to focus. I need to figure out where I want to put this school. I think a good place for it would be like right in a neighborhood, like this right here. There we are, so that makes everyone nice and happy. Uh, but these are all still red. Does that mean they're currently not attending the school? Relocate building, open to budget plan. Alright. Oh, I can rename the school. Yeah, so if you want the school named after you, let me know. I'm gonna do that. Surgery performed by robots. Huh, that's pretty sweet. Oh man, town is looking good. What's all this purple stuff? Kind of looks like a... I thought it was like pollution from these industrial plants. Maybe it's just some sort of plant. That's pretty cool. And I still wasted space in between those. That's a little disappointing. But damn, population, we are at 940? Amazing. Let's see, where's Seatop Manor? It's right there. Still hasn't been upgraded. Low density residential building. Oh, these houses are pretty cool. Look at that. For some reason, that looks like a South American house to me. I'm not sure why. That's the sort of feeling I'm getting from that. We still have 40 grand. Let's check out these unique buildings. See what we got. Oh, can't see them yet. Statue of Wealth Industry. So, huh. Plaza of the Dead. Oh, that's a little... Disturbing. Yes, looks like there's a whole bunch of these unique buildings are gained by achieving various things while playing with the positive and negative. Unique buildings attract tourists to the city. There can only be one of each unique building at the same time. Okay, so those are to bring in tourists, it would seem. Oh, let's go to bust down a first police station. Let's see, where should we put that? Yeah, right there works. All right, set districts. Oh, okay. Uh, di open district. Okay, district paint part of the city. You want to become a district. New districts will name new automatically, but can be renamed later by clicking the district's name in the info window. Apply a special policy by selecting and then clicking the district. Remove districts by painting the area. Okay, specialized industry policies allow industry buildings to be replaced by extractors and specialized production facilities. Um, okay. So we can create little districts, it would seem. Race district, forest district, farming district, or oil. Generic, okay. So yeah, we can, let's, let's try, let's make a little district. Just out of all these, uh, uh, like main residential area right now will be its own district. Why not? We'll try that out. That's really cool how this paint thing works. Just kind of fill it in. There we go. Glade Park. Alright, policies can be used to affect certain aspects of your city and to add some flavor if you want to just... Alright, power usage. Hmm, one second. Let me read this and take a sip. Oh, energy conversation important. Okay, so do we want to set a policy? This looks like this will add uh, energy meters in buildings. It costs five cents a build building, but it will reduce our energy consumption. So yeah, we'll install that. 
I don't see any reason not to. Water usage, same thing. And reduce risk of fire. So that's going to cost 5 cents a building, so hopefully it won't be too much. Let's actually see if we can see that affect our bank accounts or our weekly income. Because this dropper, we're only getting 306 right now. 155, uh oh. Are we about to go into deficit? 10, 13. Oh yeah, maybe we shouldn't uh, employ these policies right now. So we are now in a little bit of deficit, alright. Seems to be going a little back up. Maybe we need some new people moving in. So let's go ahead and build another neighborhood road down here. A uh, curved road, yes. Not that far. There, and straight road there. Oh, sad face. Alright, we can zone some more. All up in here, give people some more places to move in. And we can bump it up to two times speed. Blade Park is looking good. Let's see if we've got any new factories. More goods unlimited. Frank's Fish Stick Factory. There are a ton. We must have a massive demand for fish sticks because there are quite a few fish stick factories. What did that tweet say? <laughs> My little princess was trapped in a tree for three hours before the fire department showed up. Save her majesty. Save the cats. Hashtag master race. <laughs> what? Is that playing the cats or the master race? Huh. That's a bit strange. Okay. Focus. Go away, Chirpy. I need to figure out. I need to see if we're having any traffic problems. Is there a way to view traffic? There is a commercial demand, actually, so we're going to deal with that right now. We can just put some commercial buildings in the middle here. Sure, why not? And, and I haven't never seen a city building game use parking space parking lots before well I guess there's one right here never mind there are cars in it but maybe that's what makes you feel so like unrealistic is that there's never any parking space this feels realistic though two uh, convenience stores right across the street almost feels like a Starbucks or a Walgreens or something I need everything popping up our little city looking so good Alright, we are- oh dang, okay, we're making bank now. Shirley Adams. No, I have not lost my wallet. Leave me alone. Chirpy, get the hell out of here. Let's take a look at that police station. Looks pretty good. Looks all right. Oh, one thing I wanted to mess around with, there are some, like, color options. So let's set a nice view there. And let's check that out. So is it graphics? Yeah. Let's try sunny. Alright, so that makes it a little bluer, it looks like. Which is ironic, because sunny, you think like warm colors. Doesn't really seem to be doing that. North? Yeah, that's alright. Seems to be just some sort of like Instagram filters and tropical. Hmm, I kind of like tropical, but it looks very similar to default. I think it's exactly the same, because it's not even changing. Oh well. Again, maybe uh, someone will mod some of those. But for now, I think we're going to call it for this episode, guys. Whew. I've been talking for way too long. But I love this game already. I think it's going to be fantastic. And I'm excited, and so should you. I think that's becoming a new goddamn catchphrase or something. Someone called me out on that the other day. I don't know why I say it. Just something I say. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't wait to play this more, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.